Yo, what's poppin' everybody? Welcome back to Pop Sense. Today, I got a fragrance from Fragrance World, and it's called King of Diamonds. We're gonna go ahead and look at the box presentation, bottle presentation, and then we'll talk a little bit about the scent. This one's gonna be a little short because today's the last day to enter for the giveaway, so I kind of wanna get into the details and make sure everybody has a chance to enter in this giveaway before I go ahead and close it down and do the comment picker and announce the winner. So, King of Diamonds, everybody, by Fragrance World. Let's get into it. Stay tuned. All right, let's go ahead and quickly take a look at the box here. So you got a cardboard finish, white box here, King of Diamonds, rays on the front, size of the bottle, 80 ml. Back here, you got the ingredients barcode. Here, you've got the sticker for It's really nice. Here's the symbol of fragrance world. Bottom here, you've got your batch code. Production, April 2023 is when this bottle here was made. Expires 2028. So, fairly new bottle this year. All right, let's take a look. Mm. King, baby. King of diamonds. Oh, look at that. You get a deck of cards. All right, well, if you need a deck of cards, go ahead and get you a king of diamonds. <laughs> look at the bottom. I really do like the presentation of these bottles. I mean, the cap looks really nice. You know, it doesn't click in or anything, you know. So, definitely do not pick it up by the cap. But, I really do like the presentation of this. Here you go, Fergus World, right here into the glass. It is a pretty thick glass, as you can see the spacing between the juice here. But this is really nice. I really like this. Now I gotta figure out which one to get next. Atomizer. Not bad. I mean, it definitely gets the juice on you. So here you go, right here. King of Diamonds. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it, y'all. What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to my channel. Now, first thing is first. Got to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and bell notification so you get notified every time I got new bangers coming out. Now, remember, today's the last day for the giveaway. So watch till probably the middle of the end. I'm going to give the information more before I go ahead and close it down. King of Diamonds. Now, for what I've seen online so far, this right here is a dupe of Lycosis. Now, I haven't smelt the original, so I'm hoping this is good because if this is any indication of what the original will smell like, I'll probably go ahead and get the original. So let's go ahead and put this on a test strip and see what the King of Diamonds is all about. I do like the presentation of this line with the gold king there, the cap. This is just really nice. Like it doesn't, you know, doesn't snap in or anything. So, you know, this thing will pop out. Do not pick it up from the cap. Um, I, I've done that a couple of times already, even though I harp it on the video. Don't pick it up from the cap. I go ahead and do it and it goes to the fucking bottom. But let's go ahead and jump into it. I do like the atomizer. Atomizer is not great, but the important thing is, is you get the amount of juice on you to get that smell. Ooh. Okay. I haven't looked up the notes yet, but right on the top, I'm getting some sort of coffee. Mmm. God damn, Jimmy. This some serious going maze shit. There's no mistaking that is coffee I'm getting right in the open. As well as the coffee, I'm getting some ginger as well. But man, that coffee and that ginger has really made this pop on the texture. Now as it's dried down, I'm starting to get a little bit of peaches. This is kind of dark. I mean, this is, I think this right here is going to be a scent that you can wear at any season. 
But wow, this is really nice. If this is what Nicar Narcosis. Had not been for the Lord, I wouldn't have not have had a nail, not a bitch come into my life. It smells like. I think I'm gonna want to get the original too. All right, so last night I worked a 12 hour shift. I actually got a full. I'm gonna say a full day's wearing of it. I sprayed it around five o'clock in the evening. I worked 12 hour shift. I didn't get home until about eight o'clock. And even then, when I got home, I was still getting some whiffs of this fragrance. So, for an edible parfum, I'm actually surprised how long I was still getting scents. I was still getting compliments after the eight hour mark at work from this. So, this is a great scent and great longevity so far. And projection also for this was about, probably want to say about an arm's length worth. Hour and a half, two hours of projection. Now I finally got the notes on this. So here are the notes for the King of Diamonds. For the top, you've got coffee, rhubarb, cardamom, mandarins. Now see, I definitely got the coffee. Maybe I was getting some of the mandarins as well. In the middle, you've got mango, ginger, and amber. I definitely got the ginger in there. Base, you've got vetiver, gray amber, and peaches. And there's the peaches. I was starting to get the peaches. As I said, I was trying to die, dry down. I was starting to get those peaches in there. All in all, everybody, this right here is a great, great pickup. I had not smelt the original. I'm going to try and see if I can get maybe a small sample of the original. Or if anybody out there that has a really small sample of Narcosis wants to send it my way so I can go ahead and do a comparison between King of Diamonds and Narcosis, great. I would really like to get some of the original and really put it to to the king of diamonds i've heard that it was really really close maybe 95 percent close to narcosis so i would like to get the original and smell it out but this is a great buy this is my first one on this line i know they've got ace of spades jack of clubs queen of hearts um i would like to get the entire line of this and um, really get my nose into those scents so Stay tuned for those videos when I get the rest of them and do it. But y'all got to get this. So I'm going to leave the link for this down there in the description so you can get the ball like this. But this is just a beautiful scent. You're going to want to get it. And like I said, I have not gotten my nose on the original. But if this is what the original smells like, if they're saying this is 95% close, then hell yeah, I'll be getting the original on that. 24 hours later. All right, so now as I was rambling my fucking mouth there for a little bit, it dried down some more, and that ginger now with that amber has really, really popped up. So in the opening, I've got that uh, coffee, and that cardamom, as it starts to go into the scent, I'm starting to get that ginger, that amber. I'm still getting a small hint of the peaches, but for some reason on this, Really, really getting that ginger and the amber and the coffee with all that. Oh, I kind of want to say almost like a mocha, like a dark, rich mocha. Let me go ahead and do about two sprays on skin. And let's see how my skin reacts to this bad boy. Ooh, okay. On my skin, oh shit. That coffee is there. That coffee. Fuck. That coffee and that ginger definitely is what I'm getting. And the root and the uh, rhubarb also is what I'm getting on here. God, this is nice. On skin, way better than the test strip. So on my skin, right off the top, that ginger, that coffee, the rhubarb. Very, very strong to my nose is what I'm getting here. As it starts to dry down, I'm starting to get more mango, the amber. I'm also getting the vetiver. This right here, sexy date night. Any season, you can wear it. Uh, spring, summer, fall, winter. Just beautiful fucking scent. But y'all, y'all got to get this shit. All right. King of Diamonds, Fringers World. The link to me down in the description get it this shit is fucking nice all right y'all so look remember today is the last day to enter this giveaway all right so make sure you're subscribed and leave a comment down at the bottom i really don't care what the comment is all right leave any kind of comment 
leave a comment on if you got this fragrance here what is your opinion on this fragrance if you got the original narcosis what do you think of narcosis if you got them both what is your opinion on the two how close do you think it is you any suggestions on some fragrances that you haven't seen that i've done leave a comment down below leave any kind of comment down below um tonight it's going to be closed and i'll go ahead and start doing the um comment picker and i'll pick the winner and then i'll either do the announcement through the uh, community tab or i'll send an email to that winner on the winner of chris adams uh, active man blood so today's the last day go ahead and get in there subscribe and leave a comment so you can get into that giveaway i will have another giveaway when i hit 100 subscribers and that one there the winner there for the 100 subscribers i'm actually thinking about doing amir al oud for the winner for the 100 subscribers i could change it up i could do a house of bear which is a beast mode fragrance to get a free bottle of that would be fucking awesome because you'll be smelling great beast mode so i haven't really really 100 percent time and i'm leaning towards amir al oud for the 100 subscribers right here so and if anybody knows Amir Aoud, which is a clone of By the Fireplace. So, 100 subscribers, this or from the House of Barrett and Be Small Fragrance. All right, y'all. So, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, leave a comment down below. So, when I do the comment picker for that winner, link is going to be in the description for King of Diamonds, for Fragrance World. Fucking beautiful scent. I love it. All right, everybody. Till next time. Peace out.